Hello guys, it's Paula back for another project for the botanical book. Now, I you know that I love doing anything that has to do with envelopes. And now anything that has to do with envelopes and collaging. Um I came up with this um this weekend. Uh, I was trying to I was trying to think of what I could do with some more collaging and and other ways to use it in our projects. And here we go. This was my demo. And as you can see, it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. But it is okay for a demo, right? Um, I had laid down music sheet and there had been seams in it. And I didn't like the seams, so I covered it with... Tim Holtz um, washi, and I still didn't like it. Now, I do like this part right here. That's okay. And I did cover this section and this section, and then this side will be music sheet, but it will not go from side to side. Okay, and then here is how the tags will look. So, we'll have journaling tab tags with a tab and a label, and then a little journaling side. And I think that looks fun. And then they'll be stitched. Um, and this is the other one on this prototype. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside now that you've gotten to see it and everything. And this is one of the ones I'm actually gonna use in the book. So this is how the outside looks. And I did ink these. Uh, not super heavy. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with the envelope. How I mean, I do know what I'm going to do with the envelope, but I mean as far as the envelope portion, how I'm going to decorate it, or if I'm going to decorate it. So, we, I did collage on the inside of these. This is, you know, and we will, uh, look at the little bunny I added there. And I just wanted to do one of them, you know, so that we could do the other together because it would take too long to do both. But there'll be one in each signature of the book. And there's the two bunnies. And the other little bunny is looking across like, why did you leave me? And then the front will look like this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to add a little pocket here, you know, so you can add a journaling card or something. On the outside, I haven't I haven't decided that yet. So, just stand by for that. So now, here is how I started. I had just a plain envelope. There's no measurements. You just have to measure based off your envelope. Okay, you could use any color envelope you want. I just took some glue and glued the flap inside so this flap is glued down right here so it won't get in the way and i didn't want to have to cover the the ugly inside of the envelope so i just folded that in and made it all white now i can cover in here which i have thought about doing and um i just haven't done that yet and i haven't decided what to do it with um but I mean, you could slide paper in here and then just flip it over. Of course, it'd be better if it was all one size and then trim it off. So I'm looking to see if I've got anything big in my, my um, little folder here. I, you know, I've got this big black stripe. See which can go down in there. I'm going to show you how it works with this stripe. How's that? I'm not going to use this stripe, but just so you know how to do it. You just flip it over. I know you know this because I know that Gail did a lot of videos with envelopes at, at one point. So the best thing to do is just put it in the position you want it in and then cut it out. This is an old journaling folder that I had left over when I tore one apart. I never let it go without seeing if there's paper I can use. <laughs> I'm the greedy one. 
So see, you would have to train this to fold as well if you wanted it in there. I kind of like the way that black and white looks, but I don't have any more. So we can't use that, but we might use something back there. We want to keep it in the color scheme of what we're doing for sure. And um, so we are using, um, let's see, music sheet and text. The text is the cards we're going to cover, okay? And the music sheet is what's going to go on the outside front. Can't remember, it goes like this, I believe, yeah. Because it is a, con a continuous thing. I left it blank here because, you know, that's where the signature is going to be. And it's going to be stitched into your signature. So, you're going to have all your pages. And then this is going to be included with your pages and stitched through with your signature uh, twine. Okay? With the twine that attaches your, or uh, bounds your book and so forth. Okay, so that, those are going to go out here. Now we're not going to put those here, there yet. Um, and then we're going to collage these. But before we do that, I want to show you how I did the outside of this. I'm going to take this out so we can make more sense out of it. Um, so I just slid the book page in here. Okay, from here in as wide. It depends on the book size you have. I trimmed off all the white edges and then slid it in. And so it, it slid in like this, you know, and then it went all the way down. And then I marked on the paper right here. So let me see if I have something I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, pretend this is the, the book text. I put it in like this, took my pen, and did the same thing I just showed you on an insert. And there you have your, your line, see, right here? And that's what you'd cut off and put right here, and that's what I did. So you can see, I inked around it. I got a little darker than I wanted, but that's okay, because there's a lot of brown in this book. So I'm gonna try to collage with mostly browns and um, which is going to be on these. Now if we want to go back and decorate this later, we can. I It's not part of today's video, but to eat your own, you know, if you want to do the front and the back, that's great. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside for now. You guys know how to glue stuff on. That's not a biggie, right? And this is going to be our example because this is the book. I mean, this is the envelope we're going to be collaging or copying because we're going to have one in each signature. Now, it doesn't have to be identical, uh, of course. I don't even think we still have the same paper. I mean, you know, I've run through paper so f I, I run through it so fast that you never know when you're going to run out. So I do like this yellow here. The paper or the fabric that's going to be on the front of my botanical book is going to be uh, browns, earth tone colors, and it is going to be Tim Holtz, just so you guys know. It's one of his fabrics from his paper pads, and you will recognize it. I've showed it on one of the previous videos if you want to go back and look at it. Okay. So I'm going to put this yellow right here. So it looks like there's a little bit of blue too. A little bit of green. So let's do a little bit of green in here. Let's put it up here. Whoops. Yeah, 
down. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and add some green to the page next to it here. Um, I want to kind of color coordinate them a little bit. Not They don't have to be perfect. I didn't really think a lot about that. But it doesn't hurt to do that. I don't think I have any more of this yellow right here. Mm -mm. I think that's the end of that yellow, so let's find some other yellow. I've got some Edith Holden that's kind of in that color scheme. Yeah, I'll see that'll work. Let's put it down here. Okay. Put this right here. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of blue somewhere. But I don't know that I have any blue out on my table. So let's work on other colors first. Let's do some, let's do some text here. And... Okay, so I'm not going to be real fussy about where it goes and all that. I am just plopping and gluing. That is my motto, plop and glue. Unless you're doing something very special that you want a particular way, flop and glue is the best way to go. Just try to line up your words so they don't look crooked which they shouldn't. Nope, they're all right. Okay, here's some of that, that color that's in that other page. I thought it was all gone. Has the plaid up here on this one. Come on, come out of there. Come out of there. Let's see, let's put it right here. Shoot, I cut that off too short. I wanted it to come down. <laughs> Let's do it over here. No, it doesn't go over there. I'm just going to make it work, guys. Hope you're having a good day today. I'm trying to get caught up on my videos. I've had things planned and I feel like there's always something that interrupts me, so today is my video day. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do several videos today because I need to get caught up. Okay, now let me see if we have any more of the colors that are over there. Let me see, let me see. Let's do this. I can get my fingers to work. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to put this one over on the other page. Let's do it like this. Right there. Not a whole lot of thought going on here. Whoops. didn't cut it big enough for over here unless I want to stick it up in this corner. That's what I'll do. 
because it has more print than the other one. It needs some solid, something solid going on. Now over here, we can take this part and do it right there. But I gotta trim this little edge first. Of there. Whoops! Just did a flip. Just did a flip. Let me get some of these little scraps that's not going back into the box. Okay. Now I gotta cover this text and this text. So, this one needs to be some kind of um, paper that has you can have writing on. Let's do this. I'm sorry if you can hear that motorcycle. We have neighbors who have a college age boy who has a motorcycle, but they are moving, <laughs> which I, you know, I don't really know them, so they're not that, they're down a few houses. When all of the projects are are uh, dried and and I can get them um, the stitching done, I'll show you how they turn out. Okay, there's that one is done. Let's go ahead and trim it. Look, it's already coming apart on me on the other side. That's what happens, guys. You just have to add more glue. I usually add this and then if I have trouble, I'll add regular glue around the edges. But usually I don't. That's why I like to go back and double check the glue before I fold the page. I don't do it on all of them, but it does help. I'll tell you that much. It does help. I don't think that will fit over there. Okay, now we've got this middle section. What can we do there? Let's just do, you know, we've already done that. Let's see, we've got green, we need, we've got yellow, we got green. So let me find a piece under here we haven't used. Okay, that's everything on this one. Let me know in the comments, just say, 
yes, I'm addicted, or no, I'm not, not into collaging. Yes, I'm addicted to collaging, I love it, or no, it's not my thing. Let me know what you what your opinion is. Because it's fun to just kind of see what everybody thinks. Okay, let's see if this is glued down. Yeah, pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this corner. Okay, so we've done this side. But this is going to be the side that has... Um, the little label. So let me get that. I'm throwing these big old pieces that's in the way away. Okay, now let's see. We've got the label there. Let's do it on this side. Let me find some labels, ladies. And gentlemen, I guess I should say, because I understand we have some. Okay, maybe we'll do a different shape if we can find two, you know, to that shape that, that is. I've got to print some more labels. I haven't. I'm getting very low, so I don't have a whole lot to pick from. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Let's see if this is one. That could count as one. It's different, but it's still a label. So let's use those two. They're kind of shaped alike. You know, and that's, I'm just kind of going with similarities so they don't have to be identical. We get the labels on that we can flip over and do the other side. Come off of there. It's time to change my glue page. All right. You want to make sure you keep them upright. So they have a tendency to match. Now I'm going to dig in this thing and see if I can find anything with plaid on it. I think I've used all my plaid that's in the right color. Just found a Christmas plaid, but that won't work. Let me look for one second. Excuse me. Just see if we have any plaid. You might have to use some wood instead. Kind of a wood look. Maybe we need to put some of this on there if we can't find the plaid. I wish there was a better way to Keep my scraps together here. I'm going to have to start thinking about it, you know, so that there's not any digging that go has to go on. It'd be nice to have, like, files that say, you know, plaids, polka dots, whatever. Okay. Well, <laughs> we may not have any plaid available. So, let me think what we can do instead. Let's see. We're still kind of in the brown and green and yellow, aren't we? Brown, green, and yellow. I'll kind of look at that kind of stuff.
Hmm. Brown, green, and yellow. That's a plaid. Okay, I think we will just use that plaid. There's no sense in spending our time digging when I think I used all of that particular plaid. I think I used the last of it on the back side there. So this has got a plaid on it. Now it's a little bit different color, but that's okay. Hey, it's just, we're just collaging. <laughs> if you didn't know. If you didn't know, we're collaging. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I was going to change this paper out. Okay, let's try this. Right. There we go. Now over here we can put some more in a different spot. All right. So you guys saw Charlie yesterday as mama brought him over to see his aunt that was here visiting. And he just loves her. He's the one that want, you know, says he wants to marry her. <laughs> you never know who he's going to marry on what given day. But anyway, she had bought him this cute outfit, so he came over in his little new outfit, and she bought him this big bag of cotton candy. I don't know where she got it, but anyway, he sat there and ate that cotton candy just like it was an everyday thing for him, which he wouldn't have done that uh, five months ago, you know, not even that close. Let's see. Here is... I don't want to put two that kind of in the same color scheme. So here is some, let's do some of this. It is super thick though. I don't know if I can even, nope, I can't even tear that. Oh my word. Paula Paula. Okay, we'll put this wood grain on there because we did put it on the ones that are above here. Let's put it on this side. Yeah, I love wood grain and, and scrapbook paper, you guys. Okay, let's see what next, what we want to put on there next. I probably have glue stick on everything on my desk. This thing falls over. It doesn't have a good, um, I don't know, it just doesn't stay standing. You set it down and it falls over. Kind of like a weeble, wobbles and it, and it don't fall down, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. We used to be able to make our weebles wobble. Okay, maybe this can be some journaling paper on here. Let's see. Let's put it right here. Flip this over, trim it. Okay.
Now, we need blue, green, or brown. Blue, green, or brown. So we've got some green with some blue stripe. But I still would not mind putting some. I think I used all the... I brought out some different colors to work along with the... Uh, let me grab some of this color. Here's some a little bit of yellowish green. We could try. Let's see, let's see. That's already on, got some on there. Okay, so let's put it over here then. Okay, let's put a little bit over here somewhere, even if it's just in the middle. We'll use this piece we pulled off. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's put some... Um, See what this is. Oh, this has text on it. That does not have enough glue on it. Let me get some more on there. It's not holding it down. Sometimes some papers take a heavier amount of glue than other papers. Sorry guys, I'm kind of quiet, aren't I? I don't mean to be. Do you just ever have days that you're just, this is an exhausting day for me. I've been, we had a busy weekend. I mean, and I'm not used to it, I'll just be honest. I'm not, I don't want to say in the best shape. <laughs> not in the kind of shape I'd like to be in. And so, sitting, you know, I've had two back surgeries, so sitting in that as chairs for that many hours, whoa, really put me down on my back, and my sister was as well. We're both not the, we're not, neither one of us are the girl that you see in the gym. <laughs> we need to be, but, um, I just need to get out and start walking now that it's pretty outside. Okay, there's that. Now, got a little strip there and a little strip here. This one won't make that big a difference, but let's see what we can do with this. We'll put it up here. Wow, it's like a little Christmas tree. I don't want to to be super long on there. I don't like to do teeny tiny pieces, but sometimes you have to. But um, I do like it to kind of cover as much as possible. There we go. That one right there. And I know I have one more thing over here we can use. Let's 
see if that will fit right there. It does. So this one will also have to be dried before I can stitch it on my machine. So I will show you the finished product or project, I should say, um, on this one as well whenever I get it all stitched. I just wanted to show you how it was going to come along. And uh, we can, we'll glue onto the envelopes too if we have time. Let's see. Let me kind of tear some of this. After this piece, I think we've got, yeah, all of this part done. I moved some of this out of my way. Excuse me, just one minute. This way we'll have some room to do what we need to do. like it's taken over the place. Do you ever feel that way with your collaging? <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. I try to set stuff out ahead of time so I don't have to dig in there as, as much. But you know, sometimes you do. Okay, now let's trim this off and we'll have that part all done, the collaging part. And then Let's see, that's the other side. There we go. So I thought we would go ahead and I don't know if I put labels on both sides or one side. No, I didn't put labels on both sides. Um, so we can do, we can put some bunnies on this one too. How about that? How about we put some bunnies on? Uh, let's see. Find my bunnies. I know I have them on fabric, but I gotta look and see if I have any on. I know they're in this little container. Oh, there they are. Probably getting low on those too. I like to separate them like, why'd you leave me way over here kind of thing. So this time we're gonna do it this way. Yeah, we'll put him over here like, these two can be over here. Like, hey, you had your chance. You should have come with us. I love these little bunnies. And I just feel like they need to be like a little mascot or something. You get them on here straight. They just make everything look sweet. Okay, now, uh, I'm not going to put the tabs on the top because I, I've got to do the stitching first. But they're inked and ready to go. And I will ink this off camera because that's boring. Uh, and I'll stitch it off camera, okay? So this is the other side. And this is this side, which is the front. Now, I'm going to put these back inside their little folder, or their little envelope, and we're going to glue, um, we're going to glue these, these uh, pages on. Let's set these aside to dry, and now we're going to glue the pages on. Now, because this is on the outside, I and I'm not going to be stitching on it. I want to make sure, I'm going to put this book page over on another book page so we can, it has a lot of glue on it. I don't want to waste it. Um, so we're going to glue the outer part stuff on with Fabri-Tac is what I'm saying here. I'm trying to get this other glue off my fingers and my palms. <laughs> Doesn't take much, does it? 
Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way because I think we're through with the glue stick for this video. Okay, we're just gonna get some Fabri-Tac and we'll glue these pieces on with Fabri-Tac. Okay, this goes there and this goes there. I hope I got them nice and straight. And I'm just doing it around the edge and just kind of a squiggle in the middle because I don't want it to come off, obviously. Okay. Sorry if my head gets in the camera here. I kind of got to look over to make sure it's not leaning over into the envelope. It's not. Let's do like that. There we go. Now, of course, I got some on my mat. Let me clean that up. I've been using this mat in the videos because it doesn't glare like my other one. I love my other one, but I've got to be able to see the project, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to glue this one on. Probably what I'll end up doing is on the front of these, on both sides of them actually, is I'll pull some pictures out of some of the botanical books that I have. You know, some florals, or I will look in the kit and see what I've got. Because uh, Tracy has a nice kit that's botanical, so a lot of florals that I want to use in this book. Somebody is waking up from her nap. <laughs> I hope she will cooperate. Okay. Now, this is going to go right here, and this is going to go right here. And then everything else will have to be done in a separate video. I will get everything sewn and inked that needs to be sewn and inked. And then when it's time to decorate this, we will come back and decorate it. Now. We'll do this side. I've got a new bottle open, guys. It is, uh, it's not drove me crazy yet, so, but you know it doesn't last very long before it does. I mean, actually, even like the second or third time I used it today, it kind of started acting like it was going to volcano. I'm like, seriously, I just opened you. All right. Okay, this is everything glued on. And it's making sure we don't have ink seeping out in our glue seeping out. Can't believe it. I'm surprised. Okay, now, what did I do? They go, there they are. And so these will go inside after they're stitched and after they're inked and after the tab is put on. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This, we're going to call this one part one. And it might take a few days to see part two. But I have other things lined up and... I'm going to try to get those done tomorrow. So, you guys have a great day. And go do some collaging. And uh, share some of the videos on Facebook so we can get some new subscribers. And the ones that are new, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you joining our group. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. 
and subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.